In this video, I will show you how to transform a boring dataset into an interactive dashboard using data bars and a few tricks of mine. So let's go. Let's beautify our dashboard and for this, I'm just gonna select the data in column B, Ctrl C to copy them, Ctrl V, I have them in column C. Now that we have the data selected in column C, you can go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Data Bars, and you can select a format. I like this one, for example, I'm gonna select it. The problem though is that I have those ugly numbers here. I don't want them because they are already in column B. So what do I do? I have them selected, Home, Conditional Formatting. By the way, if you want to clear rules, you can click on this. We're gonna do Manage Rules, double click on Data Bars, and here you have Show Bar Only. Now you can change some settings, for example, the color, add a border, etc. In my case, I'm not going to do anything else. Press OK, press OK, and there you go, you get your bars. Now, the problem with those bars is that you cannot change color based on value. To do this, I'm going to show you two tricks. Let's start with the first one. So here, I'm just going to go and use a formula called repeat. Repeat, open parenthesis. I have a text and a number of types. So the text, you'll put it in double quotation. You go here, this is my text, this is this character. You'll find it on your keyboard. You might have to use shift to get it. I'm just going to do comma, number of times. I'm going to do it over 100. So 51 divided by 70 times 100. Close parenthesis and you get those bars. So just to show you, if I do 51 divided by 70 times 100, you get 72.85, etc. So that's 72 bars. Now I want those 72 bars to become one bar. What do I do? Let me show you the fun trick. You just go and change the font to Playbill. Press enter. There you go. Double click and you get your bars. Let's make this a bit bigger. And now we're going to take the same formula. So Ctrl C escape. Let's go here, paste it. Instead of the bar, I'm going to use the letter O. And if I press enter, I get too many of those, right? So what you could do is make it times 10. It's much smaller. By the way, this is bolded and you can just reduce the font if you want. For example, 11 makes it look nicer. We double click and we get this. Next, we need to apply conditional formatting rules. And for this, we need to use formulas. Let me show you how to do it. You have to follow three rules. Rule number one, you need to write a formula that will work for the top left of your range. So for example, for me, this is my range I want to color. I need to write a formula for E2. Second, you need to be able to drag the formula and it has to work. And third, don't use if. Let me show you. So we need a formula that works for this. Let's assume I want to color everything less than 30% in red. So what I'm gonna do is equal this divided by 70 times 100 is smaller than 30. Press enter. This is false, obviously. Now, if I drag it like this, it's giving me true for this one. Yes, it's less than 30%. Perfect. The problem is if I drag it like this, because I want it for this range also, I get a value. So that violates rule number two. I have to be able to drag it. What I'm gonna do is just fix my reference. So here I don't want to move columns. So one dollar sign here, one dollar sign here, press enter. You just drag it like this, drag it like this, double click. Perfect. You're getting everything you need. Now this will be red. So I'm just going to take the formula on the top left corner of this range of formulas. Let's do control C, escape. We will select our values here. Go up, conditional formatting, new rule formula we paste this go to format and here you have to change the font because playbill is a font actually so we're gonna select this one press ok press ok perfect now let's do the same for bigger than 70 and you're gonna see for between 70 and 30 there is another trick so here the only thing i need to change is bigger than 70 right if i just drag it like this and double click it's perfect. This is bigger than 70%. 51 over 70 times 100. So we just take this one, Control C, Escape. Just select your data. 
you go to conditional formatting new rule formula paste format you change the color to this green for example press ok there you go now the in between is a bit more tricky you need to use an AND formula so AND will allow me to test many conditions the first condition is it has to be smaller or equal than 70 comma I'm just going to copy the same for the second condition and I'm going to make it bigger or equal to 30 I close parenthesis press enter again if I try dragging it it's going to work you see you have a true here for this one and this one we're just going to take the formula Control c escape select the data go to conditional formatting add a rule formula we put it here click and we're going to select this color press ok and there you go you get your dashboard